Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. A new study from local nonprofit Chicago United shows that minorities account for only 12% of the board of directors at Chicago's 50 largest firms. That trails the 15% portion at the 200 largest S&P 500 firms nationwide. The report showed that among those 50 largest Chicago companies, nine of them lack any racial diversity in their boardrooms, and only three are above 25% minority. Joining me now via Skype with more on the report is Crane's Washington Bureau Chief, Paul Marion. Hey, Paul, Chicago United has done studies like this in the past. Anything different about this one, and, and what kind of progress has there been on this front? It was a lot different this time, Danny. In the past, uh, they have done a survey of their own members, and, and it was a, a, a opt-in kind of a, a survey where uh, companies would self-report. And this time, they looked at publicly available information, proxy filings by companies, and, and determined uh, the exact numbers. Uh, and also, they compared Chicago companies to the S&P 500, the, the 200 largest companies. Uh, what it showed was that Chicago trails uh, the S&P 200 in the number of minorities represented on board seats. It's, it's similar, but Chicago has about 12 percent representation, and the, uh, nationally it's about 15 percent. Yeah, and how does that 12 uh, percent number in Chicago compare with uh, past studies? Well, I think it it's been uh, very similar. Last time it was it was about the same. Uh, it's been a very slow progress overall since I think 2001 was the first year they did the study. Okay. Yeah, no breakdown here by individual companies, but the report did name a few with some good track records in Chicago. Uh, who were they? Well, the, uh, the, the, the top one was McDonald's, and then it also included Office Max, Tenneco, uh, uh, Molex, and Exelon. Uh, and it said that three of the um, uh, 50 largest companies in Chicago had more than 25% uh, minority representation on their, on their boards. Nine had zero. Yeah, so Paul, what kind of barriers are there for this statistic actually changing? Is, is time a bigger factor than maybe companies simply not making a concerted effort to diversify their boards? Well, uh, turnover is typically very slow at uh, on the boards of big companies, and uh, it, most companies, I, I think it's fair to say, are trying to increase minority representation. And one thing Chicago United did do was uh, supply some uh, some uh, suggestions and checklists and best practices that some Chicago companies are are, are using um, to to try to build the pipeline of executives that will be uh, available for these spots in the future. Okay, Paul, thanks for the time.